guys this is christian and thank you so so much for joining this retreat and i am so so excited about the, this retreat called fun at the park um i am sorry i cannot be there with you i wish i could be there so we can hang out and we can enjoy this amazing retreat together but i am working this weekend but i am with you in spirit so with that said i am here to talk about this my class called the food card tutorial as you can see in your um in your class kit that you have the instructions you have the photo of you know like a potential prototype outcome for you and you have all the detailed materials on here as well as measurements for your pieces um everything is provided for you in the kit you get the straw you get the wheels you have the pole and you have like the top part of the umbrella. And oh my gosh, Michelle and Lauren is so generous by giving us um, the entire pack of the mini icon stickers. I love, love, love these. And we are going to be using this when it comes to decorating however you want to decorate your cart. So I'm going to go through everything with you. Um... But as you can see, all of your ingredients are going to be here in your, in your um, class kit. You're going to notice that there's a circle right here. We're going to cut this and this is going to be the umbrella for our, for our food cart. Please, please, please feel free to cre recreate this project for any kind of holiday. This is so, so perfect to recreate during christmas mother's day absolutely everything halloween <laughs> and look you get so many so if you can just get another sheet of paper after doing this cart you can do so much more because the class kit has provided so much for you so anyway with that said let's get started my suggestion is please get your your um scoring board and your paper trimmer and your scoring tool okay so and then your adhesive if you're going to use your glue gun go ahead and plug your glue gun right now and um, yeah we'll go from there so this is what we're gonna get first go ahead and get your black sheet of paper and this is gonna be your base okay so go ahead and do that I will wait for you so my friend the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut all the pieces first so we're going to cut the base and then we're going to cut the door. So the first thing is let's cut the base and go ahead and cut a 10 and a half by 6 inches. So let's do the 10 and a half first. 10 and a half. And then cut it into 6. Cut it at 6 inches. So this allows you to get two sheets of that. So set these aside, please. And then the next one is you're going to be cutting, you're going to be cutting the drawer portion. And the drawer portion is 10 and 1 8 by 9 and 1 8. So we're going to cut the 9 and 1 8 first. 9 and 1 8 by 10 and 1 8. So there. And now you've, you've cut that portion. The next part is you're going to get your bottom support and your bottom support is five and a half, five and a half by three and a half. Okay, so we're going to get our six inch sheet of paper and we're going to cut. Let's do, let's do three and a half right here. Three and a half first and then cut it at five and a half. Okay, so that's the first thing you're going to do. So we're going to. We're going to assemble our main pieces and then we're going to go ahead and decorate. So if you are planning on using your glue gun, go ahead and start um, firing it up or plug it in so that it's going to be ready by the time that um, you're done with all the scoring and everything. Okay, so let's do that. So the next thing we're going to do, my friend, if you um, go ahead and look at your instruction class instruction material you're going to get your 10 and a half by six inches and we're going to score this one first okay so put your paper at the six inch mark 
and this is a six inch mark right here so you're going to score it at one and one fourth on both sides so find your one and one fourth mark and you score it on both sides don't push it too much like what i did and one and one fourth same as the other side just like that and then at the 10 and a half inch mark you're going to score it at two and a half five seven and a half and ten just like that okay and then you're going to fold and burnish um, by burnishing I mean you're going to use the butt of your bone folder and you put your you score you make your um, fold marks sharper that it that makes a very good 3d project so let's do that together just like that perfect perfect and then the other side so so that's what we have right now so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a pair of scissors okay and we're going to create our tabs okay so as you can see if you look at these this is our cutting guide so this is what we're going to use um, to see where we're going to cut so the first thing is we're going to create this tab right here like what it said on the drawing so that it folds right here so if you look at this one this is what's going to happen and then you're going to trim this off just like that just follow the um, the photo okay I think I don't need this anymore so let me set this aside real quick so that we have more space okay so just like that this is what the photo looks like and then you're going to cut your score marks so let's do that so cut follow your score marks and cut just like this super easy super easy and make sure you do it on all of them okay this is gonna be so much fun I think I put a lot of pressure on this one. Um, I got excited when I scored. So I'm just going to mitigate that in real time by putting tape. It's okay. I got excited when I was scoring. So that's all right. We're only human. It's okay to make mistakes. Okay. So now that's mitigated, we have all of them cut, right? So you're, what you're going to do is you're going to create tabs you're gonna create tabs it doesn't matter which side okay it doesn't matter which side you choose when it comes to the tabs I'm just choosing this one that's closest to me just like this and once you've identified so that when since you're creating tabs with this this one is your reinforcement parts and this is what you attach onto itself okay so clean as you go remove your pieces and then what happens next is so these are your closure these are your this is your tabs that you're going to fold onto itself all these will be attached right here so let's do that right now because these are your reinforcements okay so you glue that. You can use whatever you want. If you have liquid glue, go ahead and do that. If you have like score tape, as long as you're able to attach it. I like to use Barely Arts glue for all my detailed work and a Shore Bonder glue gun. But it's up to you what you're comfortable in. So this is what we have right now. Just like that. Now, this is your tab that closes your box for you. So if you... If you look at this one this we're going to put adhesive and then we're going to close just like that so I'm gonna put my glue gun you can use whatever you like and you close that and now you have you now you have a box super easy and then these close just like this 
just like that my friend and now you have your base for your project and now we're going to create the drawer pull the one that we're going to pull so this one feel free if you want to assemble it now or later it is up to you my friend so i'm going to leave this right here and then we're going to get our we're going to get our next piece which is the drawer so let's do that where's my measurement okay so now let's bring back our friend my very good friend right here okay so let's bring back my favorite friend right here and we're going to get our paper which is the 10 and 1 8 by 9 and 1 8 so at the 10 and 1 8 side you're going to score at one inch You're going to score at three and three eight, which is one, two, three. Three notches after the three. Okay, next is you're going to score at six and three fourths. So one, two, three. Okay. Six and three fourths. And then you're going to score at nine and one eight. Right there. Okay, next you're going to turn it one time and then you're going to score it at one inch and three th and three eight on both sides essentially you're scoring all of these all of the sides you're scoring at one inch and three and three eight on all sides three that's pretty much it and then you you turn it again and you score at one and and then three and three eight so for this specific um, this specific drawer pole, as long as you have your piece of paper, which is ten and one eight by nine and one eight, all you need to do is score it at one inch and three and three eight on all sides, and then you burnish that. So we're going to burnish that. This is a highly reinforced um, drawer pole, so you can put a lot of heavy things in here. It is reinforced it has um, like a lot of support when it comes to this project so it is super super fun to make and super fun to replicate for any at all for any holidays at all so now we've burnished everything now we're going to go back to our drawing my friend so go to your drawing, and this is going to be this page, this next one. Okay, so we're creating the drawer pole. So this is what you have in your class kit. So what we're going to do, I'm going to teach you every step of the way, okay? Don't, don't worry at all. Don't worry at all. So now we have, we have this. It is our drawer pole. And what essentially will happen is this is going to fold. And these, these one inch layers, these are your reinforcements. Okay. So what we're going to do is you're going to go to your corners. This, your four corners. This, 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 and this. And you're going to cut tabs. Okay. So that's what we're going to do first. We're going to cut the tabs. Cut the tabs just like that. You're going to do that all four corners okay super easy north south east and west just like that four corners just like that easy PC okay so just like that what I want you to do is I want you to attach it right now just so it doesn't bother you anymore just just have it go there because that's what where it's going anyways so at least it gives you like a starting point it's easier so that you all you need to do is attend to the other flaps right so now that you've attached that because this is your reinforcement now that you've attached that what you're going to do is you're going to place this like this and then we're going to create our tabs. So you create your tabs, you cut, and then you cut into a triangle. 
then you remove the excess portion just like that okay let's do that again so you cut right here to separate it from the base right this is what it looks like now that's what it looks like now so you're going to you're going to do this so that you can create your tab just like that so we're gonna follow that right there right there and then cut this thing off just like that and we're gonna do this four times we're gonna do it on all sides okay so do the same thing my friend same thing that create a tab so that we can assemble we can assemble our drawer pull just like this okay just like this just like that so if you look at your finished product this is what we have for our second this is what it is just like that I mean, just like that okay and then what happens is essentially what you're gonna do is you're going to put adhesive on the outside of these flaps don't forget it has to be on the outside okay right here and then it attaches to here to create your drawer and my friend this fits perfectly if you get your other piece the one that we play with earlier once you've attached it this fits perfectly onto here just like that perfect 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 okay the reason why i haven't assembled it yet is because i prefer i prefer for it to be flat while i put my decorative pieces it is up to you if you want to assemble you can do that but let me tell you it is easier to put your decorative pieces and if you want to do some faux stitching with your jelly roll don't forget michelle um sells the jelly roll number 10 for faux stitching i would love to do that when it's flat because it's easier it's so much easier to finagle with so next one the next part is okay so go ahead and go to your class instructions right there so i'm telling you how to assemble it but now we're going to create the bottom support so let's get that piece of paper that paper is five and a half by three and a half just like this okay so we're going to score and this is the last time you're going to need your scoring tool so at the three and a half inch mark you're going to score um at one inch on both sides right there okay at the five inch mark you're going to score it at half an inch two three and four and a half just like that okay and then you burnish and let's burnish it all right so we're burnishing everything So go ahead and burnish all of these and then I'm going to tell you how to cut it. Okay, friend. So now you've burnished everything. Now you're going to find your half an inch side and that's going to be your kind of marker because you're going to create a tab using that. Okay, see? See this one? I cut it right there. Let me put this away. But you still need your bone folder though, so don't... Do not take your bone folder away just yet. And then you're going to remove this. Pretty essentially you're going to copy what you have in your in your um class instruction kit right here. So we're recreating that. So you're gonna cut this off. Okay. Just like that. And then you're going to cut all of these score marks cut them all just like that 
And then you're going to notice there's wider ones and there's shorter ones. So there's two wide and two short. The short ones you're going to create tabs for. Okay, so let's do that first. Just like that. Right there, this is another one of your tab. Okay, go to the other side and create some more tabs. It's lots and lots of tabs. I've learned that you have to be comfortable creating tabs when you make a lot of 3D projects because that's what it holds it together, you know? Okay, so now we have that. Now we're going to make a tab using this one. So just here, okay? Don't touch this one. This has to be intact. Just on here. Okay? And then this one, this has to be intact for sure. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to... This is what it looks like. If you think about it, it looks like that. Okay? And then this one folds right here. Let me, let's just assemble this one. So you put your adhesive on your tab... And then you fold it just like that. Okay. And then you're going to do this. You're going to close, close, close. And then the one that's intact, that's not tabbed, that's the outer portion. This one should have been tabbed too. Okay. This one should have been tabbed too, my friend. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There's, there's only one that's not not touched so you fold these right this like that and then you put your adhesive just like that super easy it's like a closing a box and then the intact portion is your outside piece just like that just like that i wish i could be there with you guys in the in-person in the virtual it's so much fun being in a retreat so this is our finished project so the next thing I want to do is let's cut this this is what we're going to do so go ahead and cut that I'm gonna cut that offline okay friends so now that you have your circle this is your umbrella portion you're going to fold it um, you have to determine which side you want your front I do like I do like this one. Anyways, so I'll cut them. I'll cut this one first. Uh, no, not cut, but fold. Right there. And then you fold it again. Essentially, you're making one eighth inch of a pie. Is what we're trying to do. Just like that. And then you do that again. Fold it again. Okay, so you're making one eighth of a pie. And then last one. Yep, that's what we're doing. And then last one. This is the last portion. Super, super easy. Just like that. Okay. So you have your pie segments right here. You can see all the one eighth part of the pie. What I need for you to do is I need for you to cut. Okay. Go ahead and cut. I'm looking at the instructions real quick. Six inch. I yeah, trace with a saucer. So let's remove. Let us remove. Let's remove one eighth of the pie first. So I'm going to remove. Let me think. What did I do with this one? Oh, okay. So cut this one first, friend. And then you're going to notice this is, if you remove this one, this is one eighth of a pie. However, 
what I want you to do is I want you to leave like half an inch of that right here. And that's going to be your... No, that's going to be flimsy. Sorry about that. So remove. Sorry, sorry. So let's go back to the original plan. Remove one eighth of the pie. Just like that. And then this is where you're going to attach. This is where you're going to attach it. Depending on how stiff you want your, your umbrella to be. Just like that. It's up to you. I do like this look of like a more closed umbrella. If you want it more open, you can easily adjust it how how you prefer. Um, I do like how this looks, so I think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to snip this one. And this is what I'm going to use for attachment, just like that, okay? So you can, um, you can attach this if you want to. But what I want to do is I do like creating, um, putting faux stitching on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to create like a facade. I'm just going to snip it just like that. Snip like at a diagonal just to create a decorative piece. Super quick and easy, my friend. Easy peasy, no problem super fun to create and then this one essentially if you attach it right here you're gonna do that too clean as you go clean your table so you're not confused with all the bits okay okay let me just get my my trash right there we're getting to the most exciting part which is decorating it so right here this is what you have i'm gonna snip that you don't need it okay so my friend this is what you have right you've put all your decorative see you have your decorative portion right here this is what you have so essentially what i'm saying is if you want to put some stitching on it it's up to you if you want to do if you want to use this one i don't think you need stitching but if you want to use this back portion I think this would be lovely having stitching, like faux stitching. If you like that technique, go ahead. Go ahead, feel free to, feel free to do it. So I'm going to do that offline. I'm going to put all the stitch marks in all of my pieces. Um, I think it's so much fun. It adds so much to the project when you do it. But before I go, don't forget, if you're using your glue gun, plug it in right now because we're going we're gonna to be using it. Or your glue. Get your glue handy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some... Let me move you a little closer. Okay, there. So I'm putting faux stitch marks. Faux stitch marks on them. So it feels like you did some actual sewing using your jelly roll number 10. I know Michelle has them for sale. And then she has the black one too if you want to do black stitchings. I got some black one from the last retreat. That, that one is the glaze one which gives an embossed look. It is so cute. And we're going to use that later too. So cute. So just like that, you know, essentially you're looking, it's looking like you put stitch, stitching on it, right? Um, I also would, if you want to, this is not like mandatory. If you want to, you can even do every single part of the pie. If you want to, you can. I do love this look. So, go ahead and do that, my friend. I'm going to do that offline. And one, when you come back, we're going to be assembling all of it, okay? Okay, my friend. So, now that we put some faux stitching on here, we can now attach and create your umbrella. So easy. 
and look how cute that is and that's where it's going to hang out for right now so we have this you're gonna set that aside and then you're going to create your wheels and everything is provided for you my friend okay so this goes right here this goes right here and this goes on top right here absolutely super super perfect so we're gonna assemble that um, what I like to do is I do like to do some um, foam tape with this one I just like to give it a little bit more depth because it is a wheel and I know Michelle um, for the for the friends that are in the actual retreat I know she sells double-sided foam tape I love 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 creating like a better facade with the foam tape it makes it pop a little bit more so you can see right there then this one you're gonna do the same thing just like that so cute and this one I'm just gonna use my glue gun adorable just like that and this dries clear anyways just like that and then um, I'm gonna do some faux stitching on the wheels real quick so we have the faux stitching right here and this is gonna be our wheel go ahead and go ahead and do the same exact thing for for the other wheel that's gonna be in the back you don't have to put some faux stitching for the back if you don't want to but I feel like it finishes the project if you add it to both sides to be honest so I'm gonna do that offline go ahead and do yours um, and then we'll resume the video once everyone's done okay my friend so now we have our wheels the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to decorate our box and this is our box right here this is what it's going to look like um, if you want to put some faux stitching this is the perfect opportunity before we assemble it if you wanted to but I just want to let you know that for your decorative portion this is the size of the box the three and a half by two and a half if you want to put a decorative portion which is I think why we're provided this paper you can use this part or you can use this part if you wanted to but the measurement for this is three and three eight by two and three eight just like that so if you want to decorate that go ahead and cut the three and three eight by two and three eight right now so that we can we can start decorating um you're going to need you're going to need for here for the top and for both sides so go ahead and do that three and three eight by two and three eight we're going to cut that i'm gonna get my scoring on my trim board or my cutting board and i'm gonna cut that so the width is don't forget to be mindful of your um your orientation okay so we're gonna cut this at two and a half because that's the width right so Oh no, so sorry, not two and a half, two and three eighths. Just like that. And then you're going to cut it at three and three eighths. So one, two, three. Okay. And this is what it looks like. Just like this, my friend. Or if you want to use the other portion, which is the map. You can also do that but i do like this part so we're gonna use that we're gonna need three three of them three and three eighths and you have so much more left oh my goodness this is such a generous generous kit you have so much left over i absolutely adore it okay so Sorry, I'm bumping into my camera. So now we have this one. Okay. Now we're going to attach it. If you want to, you can put some faux stitching. You can put actual stitching if you want. But this is where it's going to go. And it fits absolutely perfectly right there. 
If you want to do this one for here, I do like it to be symmetrical. You can also you can also use this back portion right here if you want to, just like what the drawing shows. Right there, you can do that, no problem. Um, so let us get our let's get this one. Let's get our glue. And we're going to attach it. This is my favorite glue because you don't need much at all to be able to finish a project. So it, it lasts a long, long time. Okay, just like that. And this is called Barely Art Glue. Barely Art. And if you want to get it, this is has nothing to do with the retreat. But if you want a discount, use Christian 10 so you can get a discount. Okay, so we're going to do this for this side as well. You're just going to center it. It should be perfect when it, it's centered. So we have the front and the back, and this is the top my friend so let us put that top okay and then just like that yay it's working it's working now we're going to close this let me put my lid for this so now we're going to close this because now you already have all of your decorative pieces attached and then you put your glue right there perfect so we got this one and now it is perfect and now we're going to choose all you need to do is choose which one you want because this is going to be the perfect size for you I do think this is a two and a quarter. So two and one fourth by two and one fourth. So you have to cut a sliver of it for just a little bit. Just cut a sliver. So I'm going to choose offline what I want for. You're going to pick two. One for the back portion and the other one for the front of your drawer. So let's let's go ahead and choose which one your is your favorite. Okay. So now this is my this is my food cart. I've chosen this one. I think it's so so cute. And look, you don't have to do anything. This is this is the perfect size for this one. I think we just have to cut a sliver off of the one for the drawer. Just a sliver. Just so there's a little bit of um black showing. So just like that. It fits perfectly. I love it. I love it. I love it. Look how cute that is. And then that's what it's going to look like for our for our drawer piece that we haven't assembled. This is where it's going to be. So I'm just going to cut a sliver. Just a sliver. Very small, small sliver. Okay, I know I did overkill on that one, but I just want it to be symmetrical because I want the the bow to be to be the front and center. Just like that. Perfect. So just a just cut a sliver. And we're going to put it right there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And I'm going to use my my glaze, my black glaze that I got from Michelle. I think she has it available in her shop. I hope she does. This one is the glaze. And it gives, like, I'm going to put some faux stitching on here. I think it's going to be so, so cute. Um, and it does give an embossed look, which is my favorite thing. It just adds so much to the project. So I'm going to do that offline or... Maybe I'll do it with you. Okay, so. Be careful to not smudge it. But look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? It's like you brought your sewing machine with you. With 
yeah, pretty much. You brought your sewing machine and you're putting some stitch marks and you don't have to carry the washing machine, uh, the sewing machine, the washing machine. You just have to bring this beautiful, beautiful. These two pens are a must for sure. If you want to put a little spin, like an extra spin with your crafty projects, I love putting faux stitching. Not em everybody knows how to stitch, so this one is an amazing way to put some stitch marks without actually knowing how to sew. Just like that. And I know that this, I got this from Three Craft Chicks for sure. Just like that. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Now we're going to assemble. Now that we have this, we're going to assemble it. So what you need to do, friend, after this dries, you need to put adhesive here and here. Okay, so we're going to put adhesive. Sorry. My glue gun wasn't ready. Okay, so you put adhesive here. And you're going to start attaching it to the side. Just like this. And you're going to do that for all the sides. Super easy. Just like that, friend. And then you fold it now it's all coming along together right it's coming it's coming along like what we've been working on for the past 41 minutes but as soon as you're able to experience creating one food cart it really really helps because um you're gonna have more confidence creating the same project in the future and it's a cute cute way to package any kind of present any kind of goodie bag. Imagine if you're having a party and you have this as goodie bag for the kids. Like what they take home with them. Wouldn't that be so cute? Look how cute. And then we're going to put this one as the handle. Put your glue gun and then I like it squished. So I'm going to squish it just a little bit on my table. And then I attach it just like that. Oh my gosh, that is so, so cute. And just leave it right there. So if you imagine this is your food cart, you're going to. That's it. All done. All done. Wait, no. That is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look. Look at what I did. <laughs> this one. This one was placed incorrectly. <laughs> Look, it's on the side. So I have to I have to add another of this one on here. But that's okay. We learn from our mistakes. So let me cut another one so I can cover all sides. <laughs> that's funny. It's okay, my friend. It's all it's all the things that can be mitigated. No problem. Easy fix. Now everything is covered. <laughs> Sorry about that. But isn't this so cute? And now this one goes on the bottom right here. Don't forget that this is your reference point. This goes on the bottom right here. And I would use my glue gun for this. Just so it sticks faster and dries faster. Right there. So let that hang out for just a little bit. And it goes right there. That's what it looks like. And then your wheels, your wheels attaches right here. But be mindful, my friend, that when you attach it, I want it to be stable on the ground before you attach it. Don't attach it like this because it needs to be. The wheels are supporting your base. Okay. And then you make sure that it's centered. And then you attach, okay? My suggestion for you is attach it while it is on the on the surface of your table. Just like what I'm doing right now. Although you will not be able to see it, but this is this is what I'm doing right now. Here. That's what I'm doing right now, okay? So we're gonna do that for both sides. Do the same thing, friend. Same thing super easy what do we think do we like this project are we gonna do another one and if you're gonna do another one what is the theme for your next one 
Is it going to be Halloween? Is it going to be another uh, fun at the park? Because you have a lot of leftover material right here. Okay, so now, friend, now it is, we're going to cut this at four and a half. I think that's what I said in my, in my tutorial. Four and a half on for the straw. Yes, so let's cut this to four and a half. It is right here on my mat. So I'm going to cut that right here. You don't want it to be too long, you know. And this one we're going to stick right here in the middle portion and you're going to use your glue gun and this part of the project requires patience so i just want to i just want to preempt this part by saying this requires patience do not move it and we're going to be really patient we're going to count one to 60 and we're going to let the glue gun dry okay so let's do that i'll be back so friend, while that's drying, I am cutting these. This is part of your kit. I'm cutting all these and I'm going to put it up top here as like food signs. So I think that will be super, super cute to do. So that's just a suggestion on how you can decorate it. Since it's part of the kit, then I think it's going to be so much fun to use because it's all provided for you and it makes your food cart more attractive so that you can sell more goodies okay friends so we're back so what you need to do is get your umbrella and put a dollop of glue right here and put it on top okay and again this part requires patience okay and you're going to put it right there and you're just going to hold it steady okay this is easier than the one that's standing because you just have to leave it right there just you just have to make sure pretty much that it's not wonky you know so friends while that's drying we're gonna set that aside for now we're gonna set aside our food cart and we're gonna set this aside because <clears throat> we're gonna need to be able to look underneath so You've been provided with an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. And this is what we're going to use to decorate as well as the mini icon stickers. So we have three sheets that's provided for you in the kit. Thank you, Michelle and Lauren. This is such a generous, generous kit. <clears throat> so what I did is what I do normally is I choose some icons and then I put them on the paper and then fussy cut them because it gives them a little bit more stability. Um, it's up to you what you want to use for yours. So at this point, friend, I technically your food cart is done. You just have to to decorate it however you prefer. I think, you know, it's going to be on the side of your food cart if you wanted to. And... Again, as you can see in your, as you can see in your, there's suggestions on here on how you can decorate it. So it's up to you how you want that done. When I come back, I'm going to show you my finished product, okay? So feel free, have fun with all the supplies that's provided for you. <clears throat> and I think this is where your creativity comes to play and how your imagination works. So let's get started. Okay, guys, so what I've done is I've selected some of... That's why I love, love, love the mini icon stickers. Is you can create your own... You can definitely create your own um, odds and ends. Like using, using this and you just have to... You have to use your imagination for sure. <clears throat> so don't forget to put your top... This one is provided for you and it goes on top just like that. Um, so we're going to add that right here. So, so cute with all the added details. And you would be so proud to give it as a present to anyone because you've created it from scratch by yourself. No SVGs. And you can recreate this project over and over. Look how cute we, ha we, we have this one. It's non-decorated. So now we're going to go to town decorating it. 
Um, this part is my favorite part because you can just have fun with it. So look, I'm going to put this right here. Games. Right? And then there's more. There's like rides, games. So we're going to do that. So cute. So when somebody takes a peek underneath, you know, when you're looking at it from this view, you can see that everything is, everything was created with like a lot of detail. A lot of thought was put onto it. And this one also helps cover your glue gun um, marks. Okay. Like that. So you can't even see the glue gun marks. Okay. And then... Technically, you don't have to put all four of them, but I think it's so much fun taking a peek at what's inside. Look, it has the stuff already. And then I'm thinking the castle is going to go right here. <clears throat> the castle is going to go right here for me. Um, essentially, you're going to cover some of it, but that's okay. That's okay. If you want to, you can have the other ones, the other signs coming from the back portion if you wanted to so the castle is going to be here okay okay sorry so <clears throat> i'm just showing you how i'm going to decorate mine and the castle goes right here just like that and then the goodies are going to are going to come from the side portion. <clears throat> okay, so right there. I'm just adding some um, double-sided tape to some of the goodies. Oops. Okay, sorry, I messed up my scissors. Okay, so I'm adding all these. Oh, by the way, I cut this bow part and I'm going to put this on the wheel. Here, so let's do this one. Let me show you how we're going to decorate. And this is the, the favorite part of a lot of people is the putting the creativity and the spin onto it based on the kit. So I'm going to put the wheel right here just to make it super, super cute. And then this is going to come from right here. So I'm going to add a dollop of hot glue. Just so it's secured. That's cute. Like it's taking a peek, you know? Like, hey, we're coming from the castle kind of thing. So. Just like that. And then these guys are going to be like the supporting actors. Just like that. I think that's going to be so, so cute. There's so many stickers in your mini icon sheet that you get three sheets. So you can definitely go to town with adding more of your decorative portion. Um, let me move you a little bit further away, my friend. So this is what we have so far. This is your drawer piece. <clears throat> and this is what it looks like. If you want to, definitely you can decorate the back portion with whatever catches your fancy. I'm not going to decorate it right now. But essentially, this is what we created in today's class. Feel free to, to put your own icons. But I think this is so, so super cute. I love the signs in the back right there. You can even put like other um, mini icons that's standing up. For example... Like a soda that's standing, you know, if you fussy cut it and it's standing right here, if you wanted to, maybe I'll, I'll add that there as a sticker. So look how cute that is. Have fun with your supplies, you guys. And I hope you enjoyed this class. Um, you can always reach me if you have a specific or uh, if you want to direct message me. <clears throat> Don't be shy. Um, you can contact me in instagram which is my handle is christians crafty adventures 
Um, I will answer it as soon as I can. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this class. Have fun in your retreat, you guys. This is like the best retreat ever. I love, love, love Three Craft Chicks retreats. They are so much fun and they just blow you away every single time. I hope that you enjoyed my class, which is a food cart class. And yeah, have fun with it and create and yeah. Have a great, great rest of your retreat. Thank you so much, everyone, for hanging out with me. Um, I hope you have a wonderful crafty day. This is Christian signing off. Bye, guys.